Hi, welcome back. So we are on day four. I'm excited to be getting this far along with you. I hope you have done the first three days. If not, it's not a big deal. You can do this class on its own as well. Today, we are not going to be using weights. You can if you want to, but it's not necessary. Um, just with the exercises I've planned for today, you won't be needing them. Uh, make sure you have water bottle, a water bottle with you. It's great to be drinking water during the class and definitely after the class. I highly recommend it. And I think that is it. Let's get started. Okay, so we are just gonna start with a gentle march, warming up that body. Let's bring our arms overhead and breathing out. Let's bring those arms up again, breathing in and out. So as I mentioned, just pick up the pace if you feel this is too slow. We're all at different levels, so I want you to be able to cater the class for yourself. Bringing the arms down, breathing in, and out. And out. Let's just do one more. And out. All right, let's just tap the heels forward, punching forward at the same time. So you can change the class around depending on your level. So if you find using the arms is too much, then just use your feet. And if your arms get tired, just take a break and then bring your arms back into it when you can. So we're gonna start with doing some gentle movements. We'll pick it up a little bit, and then we'll just keep going with different exercises. I'm going to challenge, I'm going to try to challenge each mus muscle part in your body to uh, give you a full body workout. All right, we're gonna punch across. So alternating sides. So stretching those arms a little bit as we're going across. Okay, going back into a march. So this time let's just tap the toes in front. So tapping, if you'd like, you can bring your arms into it. So it doesn't matter if you have the opposite arm and the opposite hand, it's up to you. Okay, back to a simple march and let's bring the arms up and down. So warming up that body, up and down. So you can check out your arms, make sure they're in the right position. You're going parallel to the floor with your forearms. Okay, relax those arms. Let's just do a B-step. So out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Now I do sit on the edge of the chair. I find I'm able to move my legs better if, um, you know, if I'm sitting on the end of the chair. Do what works for you. If you need to be back further in the chair, if you're in a wheelchair and you need to be, that'll work fine. It just makes it a little bit more challenging if you are sitting back in the chair. So keep going with those feet. So heel tap and then coming back. All right, let's go back into a march and we're just gonna press those arms out. So if you wanna make this harder, really think of there being resistance. So it's like you're pressing against that resistance. So press. Okay, let's bring the arms down to the side and I just want you to do a lateral raise. So bring your arms up to the side and down. So continuing to march if you can, give your legs a break if you need it. Let's do four more. So you're just going to about shoulder height. And last one. Okay, let's bring our arms overhead continuing to step with our feet and just reaching overhead or punching overhead. Now, if you can't do this because of shoulder issues, just punch in front or find another exercise where you can move your arms that doesn't bother your shoulders. All 
Okay, let's relax those arms. Let's do a little bit of a leg extension. So sitting back, bringing one leg up, concentrate on squeezing that quad muscle and down. So working on strengthening our legs here and down. Three, squeeze, four. So with this one, you might need to push back in your chair. It can be a bit uncomfortable if you're sitting too far out. And we've got two more after this one. Last one. Okay, switch to the other side. So really squeezing. So you're just pausing very briefly when your foot is up. Five more. And two more. So really important to have strong legs. We, I really want us to work on our leg strength. Now I want you just to lift your heels up and down. So working on the strength in our calves here. Stronger our legs are, the better uh, chance we have of not falling, okay? So it's good for fall prevention to be working our legs, making those legs as strong as they can be for walking and, uh, and preventing those falls. So. It, you're, when you're lifting those heels, you're lifting them as high as you can comfortably. Let's do two more. Good. Okay, we are going to do some of our sit to stand. So as I said in the classes before, there are different levels. If you want to, um, if you want to, if all you can do, I should say, is uh, lift your legs, that is fine. So you're just going to challenge yourself with lifting those legs and back down again. If you want to make it a little bit harder, so second level would be bringing your legs up, point your toes, and I just want you to flutter kick a little bit whenever uh, we're doing this exercise. Take a break when you need to with bringing your legs down. Third level is standing up. So standing up and sitting back down. Now, if you can, um, try not to use your hands when you lift up. So that makes it even a little bit more challenging. So feet are shoulder width apart. That's very important for safety, for balance. So feet shoulder width apart, hands are here, standing up and sitting back down. All right, so we're gonna to start together. So first level, second level, third level standing, fourth would be having your hands here to challenge yourself a little bit more. But if you need to press up by holding the chair, that is fine too. Do as many as you can for the sit to stands and then sit for the remaining and just lift your legs when we stand. Okay, let's go. So one. Sitting down and up. Two. Three. So when you're sitting down, I want you to really press your uh, glutes back as well, okay? So for safety and for, the, for your knees as well, really sit back in the chair. I don't know what we're number one. I think six, seven. We'll say this is eight. Got two more. Nine. And our last one. And for those who want a bit more of a challenge, I want you just to come down, hover over your chair. Let's do that for five, four, three, two, one, and sit down. Good job. Okay, so whatever level you're at, that's great. Just work at it. So even if next time you do the class, stand just, you know, try and do just even one sit to stand and then do the other ones for the rest of the nine that we do. And eventually you will be able to do more. It's just a matter of working at it. All right, so let's do um, a few more leg exercises. We're gonna lift that one knee, holding for three, two, one, and down. Other side, three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one, and down. Last one. Going down. Excellent. All right, let's do a little bit more. So we're gonna lift both legs up. I want you to hold three, two, one, down. Up again, three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one, and down. We've got two more. And down. I don't think you want to hear me count every time. And down. Good. Okay, let's start marching again. So sitting a little bit more on the edge of your chair, marching those feet up and down, 
and going back into some cardio, we're gonna bring those arms forward and just reach. So it's like we're swimming here. For those who have uh, places closed in your communities, I know it can be difficult. You can't get out and go swimming like you normally would be able to. This is a challenging time for everybody. Okay, keep going with those arms. Let's bring the feet wide this time. So out and then in, out and in, out and in. I have to concentrate for this one. <laughs> All right, let's just do one more. <laughs> All right, let's do our star jumps. So we are going to bring one leg out and one arm out. So switching to the other side. Now, if you want to increase that heart rate, just speed this up, okay? And if you wanna make it more challenging. You can also use both at the same time. So you can do it this way if you'd like. Okay, that's for more advanced. That's the thing I find often in a class, you know, if you're attending a fitness class, so many people are at different levels. So it's good to have options for making it harder if you want to make it uh, more challenging for yourself. So that would be the, hard, the more difficult option. So feel free to bring both arms up and both legs out at the same time. One more. Okay, let's work on bringing our arms in front and pulling back. So pressing forward and pulling back. So easiest option is just to move the arms back and forth. Next uh, level of difficulty would be really think of there being resistance. So there's a huge difference when you think about there being resistance. So really pressing and really pulling. So my arms are flexed the entire time. Push, really pull those arms back. Then press the arm out at the same time. So opposite hand and opposite foot this time. So press, press. Keep going. Okay, let's go back into a march and just bringing our arms into it. So arms are tight, okay? Pumping those arms rather than just moving them back and forth. Really concentrate on tightening the biceps. Be careful not to punch yourself here. <laughs> Relax those arms and I want us just to run for 10. So 10, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. One foot forward, one foot back. Switching. Now you can bring your arms into it if you want. For some people, you may need to kind of hold on to the side of the chair. We're also challenging our uh, abdominals here. So back is off the backrest, okay? This is a tough exercise. Now if this is too difficult, then I just want you to move one foot forward and one foot back. So let's do this a few more times. Excellent. Okay, one foot out, one foot out, in, in, out, out, in, in. More challenging option would be doing it like this. Okay, so out, out, in, in. Now let's bring our arms into it. So when this one goes out, that arm goes out, comes in, out. So out, out, out. And let's switch the hands around. So pressing back, pressing back. Now we're working our triceps. Press, press, press. So push. So if you have friends that you think would benefit from this class, please share the class on Facebook or however you um, share videos. I really want these classes to get out to people. I think they can be super helpful, especially for seniors. I mean, I, I work with seniors every day and I see the challenges of people going home and not being able to get together with friends. 
um, or not being able to go to community centers where they normally go. So please share the video so they can exercise still um, in a safe place from home and, uh, and be able to get movement. When we stop moving, it is, it is just not a good thing for our bodies. That is the reason why people really age is because they stop moving. Okay, let's press forward again. And I read recently, um, exercise, if people exercise, it would decrease the rate of dementia by 25%. That's a pretty uh, amazing statistic. If you think about it, the blood is flowing to the brain whenever we're exercising. I work with people with dementia and it is, um, yeah, it's a sad thing to see people with dementia. So please start exercising, convince your friends to start exercising or encourage them to exercise for the benefit of their brain and their body. All right, we're gonna do a run again. So ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's go back into some other exercises for our arms. So we're gonna bring our hands out to the side. So just check out where your hands are. They should be about shoulder height. We're gonna do little circles. So just circling those hands, really little circles, keeping your arms tight. So if you wanna make it harder, flex those arms. So you're flexing in your forearms and in your biceps as much as you can, tightening the arms. So really little circles. Now going in the other direction, so backwards. Now if this bothers your shoulders, it can for people who have shoulder issues, maybe just bring your hands down or find a position that is comfortable for you. Now bring those circles bigger. And again, if this is too much, the little circles might be better for you. Now, I want you to pick up that pace. So going as fast as you can, keeping those arms tight, straight arms. Your hands are not, your hands should be tight as well and going, like they should be lined up with the arms. Other direction. So often I see people doing this, I want you to have your arms straight. So straight out and circles. It makes it a lot harder. Keep going, take a break if you need to, bring your arms down and then just come back into it if you have to. Okay, little circles. So I'm challenging you here to keep those arms up as much as you can. I'm sure a lot of you have had to bring your arms down. I know when I do this class, normally people have to bring their arms down and that's okay. I'm doing it for a longer period just for those who can do it. All right, bring them down. Let's grab a drink of water. So if you have a water bottle, have some water throughout the class, okay? Okay. Let's work on our chest and triceps. So we are going to sit on the edge of our chair, lean back in the chair. So now main thing here is having a flat back. Okay, I don't want you like kind of crouching into the chair. I want you to have a flat back. So bring those shoulders back. Hands are here. We are pressing forward and we're pulling back. So press and pull, press and pull. Keep going. Now this is one where you could use weights if you wanted to make it more challenging. So definitely pick up weights if you feel you need it for more of a challenge. Let's do three more. Okay, next one, you're gonna stay in this position. Hands are beside your body. You're pressing up, pulling down. So press up pull down. So now when we're pressing up, we're using our triceps more. Pull down, press, and pull. So I'm going to turn this way just so you can see me better. So my back would be against the backrest down, press up, pull down, press, and pull. So we're also working our abdominals here. Press and pull. Okay. Okay. Carefully sit back up. Now, staying on the edge of your chair, we're gonna work our abs. So we are going to go back into the chair, hands are here, pull yourself back up. Now, if that's too difficult, have your hands on the side of the chair to allow your arms to help a little bit, but really try and make your abs do the work. So try not to allow your arms to pull you up too much, but if you, 
if you need to, then, then definitely use your arms so until you get stronger and then you'll be able to do it without your arms. Okay, so for those who can, hands are at the side and you're just pulling up. So going back. Now when you come forward, you're breathing out. Going back. Tight, okay, keep those abs tight. Breathe out. So just do as many as you can. And we're gonna do one more. Excellent. Okay, next one is for our lower back. So feet are flat on the floor, shoulder width apart. And I want you just to lean forward and then pull yourself back. Okay, so now I'm sitting just in a, neutral, in a straight position. So going for, as forward as you can and then having your back bring you back into a straight position. So forward and back. My legs are at a 90 degree angle. My heels are underneath my ankles and back. Let's do three more. Okay, one more for our abs. We're gonna bring our arms in front. Now, I just want you to twist to the side as, as comfortable. I want you to be comfortable when you're doing this. Coming back in front, other side. Pulling those arms back in front. Twisting, coming back to center. So keeping those abs tight. We're gonna do one more on each side. Okay, having those arms at the side. So we're going to work our biceps here a little bit. So, and our arms in general. So we're gonna have our arms in front and I just want you to uh, flutter those arms. So my hands are tight, my hands are in a straight line with the arms, I'm not allowing my hands to go down like this. T strong, strong arms, okay? So arms straight ahead and just bring them up and down. So we're gonna challenge the whole body here actually. So keep going. Give those arms a break when you need to. Okay, we're gonna pull back, press forward. So goal here is to try and keep those arms up as long as you can to strengthen those arms. Pull back, push. So slow the pace down if you need to. We are gonna do a little bit more cardio and then we're gonna go into our stretching. Okay, so legs out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Let's bring those arms into it as well. So out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. So your heart rate has had lots of opportunities today to um, be increased and uh, burn some more calories, get stronger. Okay, let's do our heel tap again. So hand out, out. Okay, let's go into a straight march. So pumping those arms. My chair is getting in the way. And let's do our run, so 10. Nine, come on, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back into a march, bringing those arms back into it. We're almost done the class, so just give it everything you've got for the last few minutes, okay, as we do our cardio again. Okay, let's bring our arms to the side and then kick out. So pick your pace here. If I'm going too fast, well, you know the drill. Slow it down or pick it up. Now, if this is too hard, just tap the knees.
Okay, a few more. And back into our merch. So we're almost at 30 minutes already. This class has gone by very quickly for me. Hopefully it has for you too. Okay, let's do our run. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And pressing. Okay, let's relax those arms, just bring the feet out. So we're gonna slow it down now, get that heart rate back down a little bit, and then we'll go into our stretching. Okay, gentle march, taking a deep breath in. Let's bring the arms overhead. So a deep breath in and breathing out again. Last one. And breathing out, relaxing those feet. Okay, so let's go to our stretching. So some options here to have a really good hamstring stretch, sitting on the edge of the chair, bringing that leg forward, and you're just gonna hinge forward. Okay, so you're hinging forward towards that foot, feeling that in the back of your hamstring. Now, if that's too difficult, just bring your leg up and flex your foot, okay? So hinging forward if you're sitting. Increasing that stretching and flexibility is really important um, as well as we, as we age. I notice it myself, I'm in my late 40s and uh, already I notice a big difference in my, um, my flexibility. All right, bringing that foot in, let's switch to the other side. So heel out front, uh, leaning forward, hinging forward at the hips. And sitting up. Okay, if you can, uh, bring your ankle onto the opposite knee. And then again, you're just gonna hinge forward. If that's too difficult, cross the leg and try and go forward. You'll also feel a really good stretch. I know a lot of people have a really difficult time doing this stretch. So just cross the leg if you can. And if you can't do that, then I just want you to um, lean forward. And, sorry, not lean forward. I want you just to twist a little bit while holding onto that leg. Okay, so going forward. Switching to the other side, bring the ankle up onto that knee and hinging forward. Thanks again for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the class and I, feel, I hope you feel like you got a really good workout. Okay, sitting up. Bringing the arms in front, stretching those arms in front, feeling that stretch in your upper back. So really pressing those hands forward. Excellent, bringing the arm overhead, reaching as high as you can to the ceiling. How you have your hand doesn't really matter. You can have it, the palm facing the center or just reaching ahead with the palm in front or change it around during the stretch. It feels a little bit different depending on how you have your hand. So reaching the other side, bringing the hands out in front. So palms are together, bringing the arms back, feeling that in your chest. As I said in other classes, you can grab onto the back of the chair and and pull forward, which will increase that stretch. You've got to be pretty flexible to be able to do that one though. Excellent, rotating those wrists. And the other direction. Bring the arm out in front, cross that arm in front of the body, pulling that arm in. Other side, so bringing that arm out in front. Crossing the arm in front of the body. We're stretching our shoulder here, so you should feel it in the shoulder in front. Excellent. Bringing one arm overhead. Drop the hand behind as if you're patting yourself on the back, pressing that elbow back for a tricep stretch. 
Now you don't necessarily have to drop that hand if this is too difficult, just bring your arm back and press back. Or you can do it this way and press. Find what works best for you. This one is often difficult for people as well. Okay, other side, bring that arm up, drop the hand behind, press that elbow back. Okay, our last few stretches, dropping the ear down to the shoulder, relaxing into this stretch. Now bringing the chin forward towards your chest. Staying in that position, feeling the stretch in the back of your neck. And then going over to the other side. So other side, relaxing into that stretch, dropping the ear down to the shoulder, taking a deep breath in and breathing out. Bring your head in or looking straight in front, then just look to the right. So it's as if you're looking in your blind spot as you're driving. So keep that head in that position. It's changing the stretch in your neck now. And coming forward and the other side. And coming forward. I want to do one more stretch actually. Feet flat on the floor. We're just going to stretch our lower back a little bit. So arms are in front like we did before, but I want you just to lean forward and feel that stretch in your lower back. So be careful with this stretch. Just move slowly. Go at a comfortable position. If you feel it's too much, definitely come out of the stretch. All right, that's long enough. Let's sit up straight again. Last breath, deep breath in, bringing the arms overhead. And I want you just to drop the hands as they come forward and out. Actually, I'm gonna do one more. Okay, deep breath in and breathe out. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you for day five tomorrow, hopefully. And if you don't do them every day, that is totally fine. Do what works for you. Do what works for your schedule. I just wanted to give a seven day program for those who wanted to do it every day. Um, I also made a stretching class, which is, uh, you know, in a chair as well. The stretches are really thorough. They're held for 30 seconds. So if you need a day off, just do the stretching class and, uh, and come back to it the next day. So I think that is it. Thanks for joining me. I will see you next time. Bye.